with my daddy, my hero. Raspberry delight right here. Lots of raspberries. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Appreciate you guys coming back. If you're new to the channel, appreciate you stopping by and checking it out. In today's video, we got something different. I'm going to be hanging out with my dad. That's right. I went over there to help him with his boat. And after that, we got into his garden. So I wanted to show you a video of his garden. And we were out there picking a bunch of raspberries, and it's great. So hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button. Appreciate it. Let's get to it. Dad loves his little doodads, as you can see. I think it's a little busy sometimes, but hey, as long as he's happy, that's all that matters, right? I mean, look at the beauty. Look at that beauty here. Gorgeous stuff. Beautiful. My dad definitely and my stepmother definitely love their flowers and their plants. I think that's where I kind of get it, where I'm out in the woods making my Bigfoot stuff. Like I always stop and look at the flowers. I always look at the plants, the trees. See my dad with his little squirrels back there. He loves his little critters too. That's for sure. Wow, these are beautiful. bath going on his roses down here and as you guys can see he's got his little doodads along his fence so just wanted to show you guys what my dad and, their st and my stepmom do this plant looks like it already lost all his flowers for the year that's all right they, they plant a lot of stuff that keeps coming back throughout the year so hope you guys enjoyed checking out my pop stuff this is where I get my uh, inspiration, beauty, and nature. We're here in my dad's backyard in his garden. You guys see his tomatoes that he grows every year. His raspberry bushes in the back back there coming in. Actually, I think I might have to go over there and sample one of those raspberries. Check it, check it out. Look how good they're looking. Mmm. Delicious. 
check that bad boy out. Juicy. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, this is my dad and stepmother's garden in the back. You see how he fertilizes his garden. He's got some dead minnows there from his fishing. Over here he's got a peach tree. A peach tree growing, this is the backyard. But look at this big old plant. I think this is rhubarb. Dad, is this rhubarb over here? Yeah. Is this all from one year or has this been growing? It's a big old rhubarb plant right there. Right there, that's a potato plant. I didn't know you planted potatoes, Dad. Oh, Judy did, huh? So have you always picked raspberries then, since you were a little kid yeah. in West Virginia? Yeah. What did your mom and them used to make out of them? Cobbler. Cobbler, huh? Jam, jelly. Jam and jelly. Look how beautiful they look. Remember when we planted these mines, Dad? Yeah. And now look at them. Used to uh, have some strawberries back here, didn't you? Not anymore. I think I'll try this one. They're good. I know they're good. Mm. So do you just pick the black ones, Dad? I bet you the uh, birds like these too, huh? The squirrels and stuff? I don't know. I haven't seen them eat them. You haven't seen them eat them, huh? Lots of raspberries. Raspberry delight right here. My dad's house. I like this little flower you got coming out of here. I don't know if it belongs there in the raspberries, but. Lily. Lily, huh? So did you plant a lot of little tomatoes too, Dad? Like the, uh, yeah, four. the tommy toes and stuff? Four. four of them. Want me to help you do that? So what was your favorite raspberry thing growing up to eat? Black raspberries. Black raspberries. Just the raspberries themselves? Yeah. Well, they had blackberries too. Blackberries in West Virginia? Yeah. Did you ever put sugar on them and eat them that way? No. No? Eat them right off the vine. Right off the vine, huh? These are small here. Yeah. Over there on the other side of the. On the back fence? Yeah. I'll dig these up this fall. Put something new in here? I'll put. Uh, I got another raspberry vine around the corner. What, one that produces bigger Burry. raspberries? Yeah. I don't know. These don't look too bad. Oh, well, do them over there, though. These do. <laughs> they look good to me. All right, a lot of raspberries to pick. Just thought I'd show you that with my daddy, my hero, picking raspberries out of here in his garden. And as you guys can see, there's a lot of tomatoes. Excuse my mouth, it's full of raspberries. There's a lot of tomatoes in here. They're gonna be coming up too. So stay tuned for that. What is this rhubarb back here, also, Dad? Man. So you really don't use that for anything, huh? No. Didn't your friend give you that or something? Next door. All right, guys. I just thought I'd show you my dad and Judy's garden, my stepmom, with these wonderful raspberries and the tomatoes that are going to be coming up, and a couple potato plants 
Are those specialized potatoes, Pops? Or are they just normal potatoes she planted? Let me another one. Just potatoes. Say bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. <laughs> and this is my dad and stepmom's dog, Lucy. What are you doing, Lucy? She's a good girl. Yes, she is, aren't you, Lucy? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Is it Lucy? Yeah, it is. So, just wanted to show you my parents' dog. Good old Lucy. I rescued her from a really, really bad situation when I picked her up with her. She was with her, you know, brothers and sisters, and they were living in filth. So I remember the day I went and got her. She looked at me like, who are you? I said, don't you worry, sweetheart. You're going to have a much, much better life. And don't you, don't you have a much better life? Yeah, you do, don't you? She's a good girl. She's a spoiled girl. She's a spoiled girl. She loves it when I come over, though. I think she remembers who rescued her. Do you remember that, Lucy? I think you do. I tail wagging a million miles an hour down there. All right, just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of her. Over here at my dad's. Say bye, Lucy. Say bye. <laughs> Say bye, girlie. Whoa.